Hello what's up, Ali here and welcome back to our corner. On this video, we'll show you how to format our hard drive to FAT32. This is for those who wants to format their hard drive to be used on the PS2 or the PS3. Though it is really simple to format our hard drive, but there are some issues that may prevent our hard drive to be detected by our PS2 or PS3 even though they are already formatted to FAT32. On this video, we'll show you how to properly format our hard drive to ensure we can use them on our PS2 or PS3. We will also show you how to format an external hard drive and on a USB flash drive as well. Let us start with our hard drive here. If we check the format, we can see that it is already on FAT32. But if we check this on our PS3, our PS3 won't be able to detect this hard drive even though it is already on the right format. This happens because our hard drive has to be on the right partition as well, aside from having the right format. We can say that our hard drive can be detected by our PS3 if we see the USB icon on our PS3. You see, if we try to use a different hard drive, it can be detected by our PS3. One way to change the partition of the hard drive is by using the command prompt. Let me go ahead and show you how we can change the partition of our hard drive using CMD. Press the start button on your keyboard and type CMD. Then select command prompt. Here type in disk part, then enter. Then type list disk. This will show all of the hard drive connected on our PC. Then select the disk that you want to format. Make sure you select the right disk because you don't want to format a wrong hard drive. After selecting the hard drive, type clean, then enter. This will clean the state of the hard drive. Now type convert MBR. This will change the partition of our hard drive. We can go ahead now and format our hard drive. We can use this formatter to format our hard drive to FAT32. You can find the link where to download this on our description. Now click on the drop down menu and select the hard drive that you want to format. Again, make sure to select the right hard drive. Now after you select your hard drive, click on this part, then initialize disk, then click on this part again, check the quick format, then start. This will format our hard drive to FAT32. Now let us go ahead and place an update on this hard drive and see if our PS3 can now detect this hard drive and its content. Now as you can see, our PS3 can now detect the hard drive that it was unable to detect earlier. Now we can use this to install files or update our PS3. That is how we can properly format an external hard drive to FAT32. Now let us go ahead and show you how we can properly format our USB thumb drive to FAT32. It is actually easier to format a thumb drive to FAT32. All you have to do is just right click on the drive, then click on format, and choose FAT32. Now in case you have formatted your thumb drive using this method, and your PS3 or your PS2 still can't detect your hard drive, you will have to clean the state of your USB thumb drive first. To do that, we are going to need an application called the Win32 Disk Imager. You can find the link on our description, so just open the link and click on this part. To download we are also going to need an application called the zz blank image you can also find the link on our description so just also open the link and click on this part then after downloading go ahead and run the application now here on the device select the drive that you want to format then click on this part then load the zz blank now before you click on write, make sure that you have the right drive on the device. Now if you are satisfied, you can go ahead and click on write. After you see this, go ahead and unplug and plug in back the USB thumb drive on your PC. Then you will see this message. Click on format, then choose FAT32. On the allocation size, choose default allocation. Check the quick format, 
then hit on start. Now you may also go ahead and use this thumb drive to install files or update your PS3. If we check this on our PS3, you will see that our PS3 detects our USB. And our update file as well. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.